hello guys this is Tanzil. welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to add some react strap in your react.js project so uh, this is my terminal uh, this is my react space uh, i keep my uh, react.js programs and projects in this folder so let me first check okay we have these two projects right now button example we'll be working with this button example so first of all uh, we need to navigate into that folder cd button example and here i'll open a text editor atom dot atom dot and then npm i'll start the development server of this react.js with npm start it will take a couple of minutes to start uh, let's close everything from here all right so it will take some time just a couple of minutes all right it's here okay then here is our app.js okay here is our app.js the development server is running uh, okay uh, so guys we don't need these this logo and all i'm removing everything from here I'm also removing this logo.svg because we don't need it right now. We'll, we'll be doing some other stuff right now. So we don't need this. We'll, I'm going to delete everything from here. So right now we have uh, this simple file. Okay. See, it's blank. Nothing is here. Uh, we'll be adding a button over here. A simple button will be there. So uh, button component button is a component which is available in react strap and react strap is nothing but a bootstrap 4 version for react js and javascript so we'll be using react strap component that is the button for that okay first of all we'll have to add this uh, react js in our uh, in our project so how do you know whether react strap or other components are installed on this on this particular project or not you will have to navigate to this pack to, uh, packet.json and inside packet.json you will get uh, something like this this dependencies see you have installed react you have imported react dome you have also imported react scripts but you don't have any uh, react strap or anything else or prop types or any other dependencies so first of all i'll uh, open a new terminal let this terminal be running the previous one let this terminal be running now inside this i'll have to navigate to that folder cd react space and then cd button example okay now here we'll write a command npm install bootstrap minus minus save you can run this command uh, save you can run this command or uh, you can also use uh, this command the latest version for bootstrap if you want the latest version so at the time of recording this video the latest version was uh, 4.0.0 so i'm using this npm install my hyphen hyphen save bootstrap at the rate exponent 4.0.0 hyphen alpha dot six space react bootstrap at the rate uh, exponent 0 0.32.1 let me in let me expand this uh, but don't worry i'll be writing these commands i'll provide these commands in the description as well so let's first install this okay let's check here whether the changes take place or not it will take a couple of minutes because it's quite heavy what's wrong with this now okay okay there's a spelling mistake my bad bootstrap bootstrap let's recheck everything bootstrap and let's do this Don't worry, I'll provide these commands in the description and you can directly copy and paste those commands into your terminal. So it's started now. It's 
it has started downloading everything now we'll wait for this it will take a couple of minutes it's quite heavy okay by the time it's it gets downloaded we'll have to add an important all right it's almost done i think yeah see you have uh, see you have installed bootstrap also as well as react bootstrap uh, all right it's done now now one more command we'll write npm install hyphen hyphen save react strap strap react strap uh, so you have installed bootstrap and react bootstrap we need react strap as well so the command i just uh, written over here is to install the react strap or oh, actually we are, uh, we are installing the react strap take a couple of minutes uh, it's almost done see now you have react strap version 8.0.0 all right once it is done uh, let it complete okay it's done now all right it's done now you can close this terminal we don't need this anymore now you have to navigate to your source folder and inside source you you will be having an index.js uh, here uh, inside index.js and just a second okay back to index.js okay inside index.js we'll add an import we'll import this bootstrap import bootstrap this distro css bootstrap dot min dot c s s all right let's save this don't worry i'll add everything in the description later on uh, index dot close this file we don't need this file close this file also now here so if we have to call a button over here we'll create a button a simple button uh, let's call this button click okay it's a simple button now let's see whether changes are taking place or not yeah of course it will show me this error it will display the error that button is not defined of course button is not defined because button is a key is working as a keyword here because it's jsx and not your html so we'll have to import this component import from react strap okay see it's working now okay uh, similarly you can import other uh, other components also if you want to see what other uh, let me maximize this if you want to see what other components are there re re stra react strap not model sorry components there is an official website for that you can navigate to this uh, this page react strap and there are components given here see these are the components available so for now i just copy this thing button over here see you have you can simply copy and paste the code you can copy the code from here so see they are also importing the same thing button from react strap so every time you need a uh, need to import any any component suppose you want this uh, layout or, or you want this card so you will have to import card card image and these packages from react strap so in order to use all the components of react strap you have to import that particular component and 
this is how you add button or any other component in your react application so thank you so much for watching this video thank you i'll be back with some new stuff thank you so much